Well, we're thrilled today to have a guest who was just recently on. Pat uh, was uh, on not too long ago, and she's familiar to This Is The Day uh, viewers for that. In fact, last time Pat was on, we didn't have time to talk about the upcoming social justice convocation in the Archdiocese of Boston, so we want to make that right. So she joins us via Skype. Pat, thanks for being with us. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so grateful to be back, and I'm so grateful to Catholic TV. Good luck with your telethon this Thank weekend. Thank you, Pat. Thank you. Well, tell us about the latest in the work and plans for the upcoming November convocation from the Social Ministry Office, along with St. Catherine Dreskel's Parish and Boston College School of Theology and Ministry. You bet. So, um, big event, November 7th, and um, we just, um, we're just we starting the, the countdown. We've started our major marketing campaign this week. So thank you so much. The timing is great. And the current focus on the Holy Spirit inspired this theme last year. And um, we have made a commitment this time to help eradicate some of the root causes of racial injustice, starting with Catholic social teaching. Um, by our baptism, we're, we're baptized into this to respect the, the, the dignity and the life of each human person and to walk in solidarity with all races. There's one race, the human race. So our current focus, racial justice and Catholic social teaching, and the critical question, what can we do? So there are two objectives for the convocation, um, to raise awareness, and number two, inspire action, and give people the resources. Um, we've got a website now with all kinds of resources to help people. So the convocation will be on November 7th at 10 o'clock in the morning till 12.30, much shorter than if we were to do it in person. And we will start in this year of the Eucharist with Mass, con celebrated by Cardinal Sean O'Malley and Father Oscar Pratt, the pastor of St. Catherine Drexel. And we are so grateful to St. Catherine Drexel. Their social justice committee has been working alongside us the whole way in planning this convocation. And um, recently, um, we've got uh, the Boston School of Theology, Boston College School of Theology and Ministry. They've sent us two externs as well as some PhD students. So we have youth on our, our committee as well. After Mass, Father Oscar will give a keynote speech. And then we will have a response by a white theologian from Fordham University. Dr. Deneen Hill Fletcher will then take a break. And when we come back, we'll have a wrap up and um, tell everybody a little bit about some of the upcoming events all year long and beyond um, with the Social Justice Committee, workshops, and all kinds of, of other events. And at the end of the convocation, we will ask people to fill in commitment cards. So the question is, what will, what can we do? The ending question for the convocation, what will we do? I love that theme, Pat. What can we do? And then what will we do? I love the connection. Can you tell us why is it that you, you sp specifically chose those words as a theme uh, in terms of the planning committee? Because um, it, it's, it's so clear, but yet it is a call to action. It is, and thank you for asking, because one of the ways a lot of people want to start is just listening, understanding, education, lots of talk, no action. This is all about the tie between words and actions, and we need to put our faith into action. And so going beyond the words, there are so many things people can do. Sure, um, you need to listen, you need to understand, and you need to follow the Holy Spirit. You don't want to get out in front of the Holy Spirit. But um, beyond the words, um, people can engage in uh, all kinds of social organizations. We have over 50 listed on our website now, social organizations that are actually doing God's work. 
Um, we can support black owned businesses. We can contribute to scholarships for black students. Um, we can volunteer um, for working in agencies. Um, we can uh, it, it, get involved in training for anti-racism. And to your question, why focus on action? That's largely a great inspiration from the people we've been working with. This is by far and away the most diverse, inclusive team we've ever had finding the convocation. And these people are on fire. They are ready for action, and so are we. And we need to listen to them and follow the leadership into a new world where we can eradicate some of these causes of injustice. And in particular, we now have representation from African Americans, from Asians, uh, from Latinos, youth, thanks to our partnership with the Boston College School of Theology and Ministry. So we are building a platform for the social justice ministry that will endure, that will be sustainable year after year. Listening to those voices of people who have experience racism. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's such a different world today, Pat, in many different ways, and one of them is that we can't gather. How difficult has it been to get this all together? And then what will be the experience of the viewers and participants? Excellent question, and, and um, you, you are the experts on that. You have kept us connected through this. And um, hooray for technology. This is a good use of technology. Um, one of the things that we've been um, advised by uh, many consultants is keep the convocation short. People have very limited attention spans, <laughs> and I'm sure you know that. So um, uh, one, of the, one of the things that um, really was, was very fortunate is we decided to keep the convocation to no more than two and a half hours, but then to have extended workshops throughout the year. And we're already lining up our speakers and our topics um, for many other um, uh, events during the year. And um, I'm also very happy to um, report that the Cardinal and Father Hare have been um, engaging in consultation with the Black Catholic leadership groups and we're working in um, collaboration with them as well to offer some pastoral events during the year, um, as well as, as workshops. Um, so that, um, Jay, to your point, um, I think that the technology is leading us into um, these continuing events. And hopefully that will inspire parishes um, to do the same with the technology. Uh, and. Um, and then the other thing is, of course, we can reach a much wider audience, as Catholic TV knows only too well. Well, Pat, we're unfortunately out of time. Where's there a website where, or where can people learn more information? Oh, the easiest way is just um, do a Google search. Social Justice Ministry Boston, and our website comes right up. Easy. Very and good. we'll have the registration um, it, available probably by the end of this week or next week. We'll have all this information. We've got all kinds of resources. And come and join us on November 7th. Pat, always a pleasure. Pat. You stay safe and well. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. God, God bless. bless.